So I found I have some more time before work again to record a quick uh, video. And today's thought is feminists ruin today's society. Because as we all know, uh, in Western countries, in America, we don't really have problem with inequality. Everyone pretty much can do whatever they want. And it's funny enough because, um, you know, back in the day, uh, people, women, a lot of women were against going to workforce. Um, they actually enjoyed staying home and raising family and, um, you know, take care of everything and not going to work and be provided for. A lot of women actually like that. And um, um, let's see, uh, there is a, an example where, you know, you people say, oh, but they didn't owe anything. They couldn't get have a credit card, blah, blah, blah. But also by law, when you were married and your husband was in debt, you weren't responsible for nowadays you are <laughs> so there is that so um you know a lot of girls a lot of women would say you know they didn't want that well but you know history follows and we know what happened uh, feminists won and everybody wanted to go to work and have careers and all that stuff uh, and okay cool i think that is a, a good example where you know women can have independence like they don't have to 100% rely on their husband which is good and I do believe back in the day it was still possible like it wasn't like completely forbidden to go to work for women that would be silly um, but um, you know nowadays a lot of women actually feel overwhelmed and they don't want to go to work they would like to stay home and raise their kids because you know most women instinct by instincts they still want to have kids and raise family um, but unfortunately because feminists won uh, everything has shifted in society and um, there is basically impossible for one income to support the one household back in the day it was so the husband would get paid more and uh, he would support the family, you know, and it was kind of socially respected um, that men uh, had to be taken care of uh, well because, you know, they're working hard to provide for their wives, right? There was this, uh, I've read some comments and I found that, you know, back in the day when you were a flight attendant, you could only do it when you were single and in the certain age frame, right? Like in your 20s. And they were told, you know, you have to take care of those guys because they're working hard to support the families. But generally, you know, once you um, got um, married, like you didn't have to go to work, right? Like you still had the opportunity to work when you were single, which, you know, in that uh, example, uh, the flight attendants, you know, were working. <laughs> so um, that's 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 kind of controversial nowadays but on the other hand you know they were able to provide and uh, fasting fasting forward for today you cannot do that and you know we end up in a situation where women are unhappy plus that they see a little bit i think we have a heat wave coming up women are unhappy because now they have to raise kids you know carry them not only birth them but also raise them in the first three two three years you know they're very dependent on the mothers and they have to go to work so they have basically two jobs one at home and one for income you know the husband is unhappy because his wife is frustrated and she cannot um you know handle so many tasks it's just like almost impossible i don't know how people do it nowadays i really have no idea um and you know the husband is not taken care of he has to work and help at home which i think mentally is so draining to have so many tasks like how is it possible for one human being to worry about the boss to work go home 
do the 50-50, you know, because now everybody wants to do 50-50. Uh, how, how is it mentally possible to like pay attention to the kid, pay attention to the spouse, uh, cook clean, like everything 50-50. And I think that's just too many tasks for a human to handle and people get overwhelmed. And I'm not surprised that there are high rates of depression because people have too much. It's like your computer overheats, you know, this is your computer. <laughs> So, and, and you know, a lot of times, you know, it's, uh, everybody kind of ends up unhappy and overwhelmed and that could be a high, that could be a reason for a high divorce rate too, because we do also have a lot of single mothers now. Like I know quite a few women that, you know, were in the relationships, got pregnant, got the babies and and the relationship didn't last because it was just too much and I think it was too much and they you know try to find but a husband again and whatever a partner but it's it's just a lot you know and and then it, they end up having to work and do everything anyway so I think the system just doesn't work and I think feminists ultimately has ruined it because now we really don't have a choice because if unless your husband or, or partner or whoever has like the very one of the very few the highest paying jobs that we have nowadays it's really hard to support a family you know on one income and because we have so much more women in the workforce you know the employers don't have to pay that much because there's so much supply and um yeah, I think I think that's basically what happened. Unfortunately, you know, back in the day, when the women were single, they were working. When they got married, they were working at home, you know. And and you would say, oh, we like we're so strapped. And I do kind of agree with the point that if it happened that you had to divorce, you kind of left without much. But I would need to take a look into the laws of divorce because I'm pretty sure the woman would get supported and get some alimonies and stuff like that. So, you know, nothing has changed. Like, either way, you divorce back in the day or today, you have to go back to work. So it's not much of a difference. Um, yeah, I think that that's all what I wanted to say. It's, it's kind of sad because there still is a lot of women that just want to stay home and raise the kids. and. And, and take care of the home and, and you know you could if you split the tasks I think it's better to be an expert in one field than trying to do everything so yeah that's my two cents on on that part of feminism <laughs> all right see you later